The fourth question is a question from a past PSLE paper, and this question require you to work backwards. Okay, so Jim brought some chocolates and gave half of it to Ken. Ken brought some sweets and gave half of it to Jim. Jim ate 12 sweets and Ken ate 18 chocolates. The ratio of Jim's sweets to chocolates became 1 to 7, and the ratio of Ken's sweets to chocolate became 1 to 4. How many sweets did Ken buy? Alright, so we are given a final ratio and we want to find the starting number of sweets they can buy. Okay, so we, we can draw a table like this and this is the N, right? We're working backwards. And this is sweets and chocolates. So Jim, at the, at the N, is 1 to 7. So I write 1 unit to 7 units. While for Ken, is 1 to 4. But I write as a 1 part as 4 parts. I can't write as units because they are not the same. Okay? So, since Jim ate child sweets, and I want to work backwards, so I need to add back the child sweets I ate. Okay, that means I take Jim, I plus child sweets, and for Ken, since he ate 18 chocolates, I need to add back the 18 chocolates. Alright, so Jim will get 1 unit plus 12 for the sweets. Okay, and the chocolate stays the same, so it's still 7 units. Okay, but for Ken, it will be one part because the sweets is the same and four parts plus 18. All right. Okay, next thing. Since Jim brought some chocolates and gave half of it to Ken, what does this statement mean? Okay, if you read carefully, it means that at the start, the number of chocolates between Jim and Ken must be the same. Okay, because the keyword is half. Say for example, if I brought two chocolates and I gave half to you, you have one each, right? So that's why we are the same. Okay, similarly, if Ken brought some sweets and gave half of it to Jim, the number of sweets at the start will also be the same. Alright, so in other words, 1 unit plus 12 will be equal to 1 part, while 7 units is equal to 4 plus, plus, eight, plus 18. Okay, so we have uh, two equations over here. Okay, and to find the value of 1 unit, okay, I need to take this equation, I need to times 4. Okay, because one part, I want to make it into four parts. So one times four, give me four. One unit times four, give me four units. While child times four, give me 48. Okay, and since four parts is, is the same as uh, four units plus 48, I can just put this inside here. Alright, so I'll get four units plus 48, which is the same as four parts, plus 18 equals to seven units. Alright. So to find one unit, I can draw a model. So four units plus 48 plus 18 is same as seven units. So three units, right, which is seven minus four, three units will be 48 plus 18, which is 66. Okay, and one unit will be 22. And the question asks for the number of sweets they can buy. So I find the number of sweets for Jim at the start, which is uh, one unit plus 12. So it's 22 plus 12 is uh, 34. Alright, and keep in mind that this 34 came from Ken, right? Because Ken actually gave half to Jim. So to find the number of sweets that Ken brought, you take 34 times 2, which is 68 sweets.